No matter what the comment is, I am very interested in your opinions of this Chore Warrior wheelbarrow, the price point, where it's made, how it's constructed, the whole thing. I go over all that in the video. Please leave some comments below because I want to know what you're thinking. An electric wheelbarrow. I have to admit, I got sucked into the idea of being able to put a lot of heavy weight in this thing, use a throttle, go up some hills, and get things done a little bit easier. Maybe I got sucked in too far. I was perusing Acme Tools website. I looked at some of the Makita stuff. I said, wow, $1,200 for one that's too expensive. I found the Chore Warrior for just over $600. Now, that's a little bit more in my price range. Still expensive for a wheelbarrow, but now the next question, why is there two of them? That's a little bit of a story. So if you hang out at our channel, you'll see last week we did a demo of some sidewalks and we were taking out a lot of brick around the house. Well, this was supposed to be there for the brick. Unfortunately, it came like three days beforehand, which should have been good. We put it together because this comes in a box and everything is little pieces and parts that have to be put together. And you can see we had this issue where this handle is about four inches lower than this handle. That wasn't it, we also had a tire problem where the inside bead around here was ripped so the tube was bulging out the tire. Well, the good news is Chore Warrior is actually a great customer service company and they sent us two more handles that would supposedly fix this problem and they sent two tires that would take care of the issue of the tires below. Problem is the handles weren't actually the issue. Sure looked like they were, but it's actually the subframe below that is the problem. So we weren't able to get it fixed. But in their customer service, they said, you know what, we've never had these problems before. We're gonna send you a whole nother one just to make sure you can get the job done. So we now have two. Even though we couldn't fix this guy and make it actually work for this project, we had the new one and we're spreading out a ton of mulch around this home. So we went down to the bulk mulch store, picked up a ton in our trailer, brought it home. There's a lot of places that we can actually move this trailer to so we don't have to physically shovel into a wheelbarrow. So we got out our Toro Dingo, moved the trailer around, which makes it very easy. We cannot use the Toro Dingo on the yard because we have a septic field that's here. We also, we don't have a lot of grass, but with that same thing said, the tracks would tear up the grass, leave ruts. A lot of different things would happen up here in the sandy soil, it just isn't worth it. So we are shoveling into this Chore Warrior and using it to go around the house up and down the hills. That's really where this seems to make the most sense. And maybe with mulch, this isn't what you're looking for because the reality is the, the actual Chore Warrior itself is probably about 70 pounds because you have a battery in the bottom and the motor and it's a lot of weight. But going uphill, you would think it would be absolutely amazing. Downside is it slows down so much, even without any weight in it going uphill, that it works, but it, it doesn't. And that's really where we want to have this is for these different hilly areas. Now I understand on the camera, I've watched this and there's, you don't see the hills here, you, you just can't. But you're up and down different areas. In some cases, you can set down the wheelbarrow and it'll just drift its way right back down the hill as you shovel it out. It works, but there's some nuances to it. Like when you're dumping, when you wanna get everything out of this, you have to use the bumper up front pick up the whole weight of this and kind of move it around to get everything out. It's too heavy, it's not conducive to that. So it would have worked a lot better for the brick that we had last week, but we didn't have a working one in time. So as I said before, the Chore Warrior is available at Acme Tools and it comes shipped and you have different subframes. You can see there's a frame here that's got two holes. There's different size containers. Obviously Chore Warrior uses a smaller one. Then you have this frame that comes down. There's a, a center frame, a rear frame, and then your handles on the back. And then these axles connect everything together across, which is interesting, but then you have your motor below and then your battery. Now, when we look at the bottom, here's your battery inside this box, which isn't horrible. You can use the springs that are in here, take it out, but it charges through the same port that you would plug it in at. So in order to plug it in, you have this style connection. You just flip down the plastic cover 
plug it in and you are ready to rock and roll with the battery. Switch on the back, on and off, and then you have a battery meter right here. To push, to go to reverse, you just push the button in, push this, it goes backwards, forward. Now, it goes forward a lot faster than backwards. Let me just show you that. So while this is unloaded, you simply have a little thumb throttle here. You can move it fast as you want. That is full speed. If we want to go backwards, push the button. That is full speed in reverse. Well, I see you need a little bit of difference forward to reverse. Reverse seems incredibly slow. So our frustrations of getting a chore warrior that was not in working condition, I mean, that's there. Anytime you buy a tool and you have a job to do in a couple days and it comes in, it doesn't work, that's very frustrating. Obviously, it was nice to have their customer service come through. We get a whole second one. Good thing they did because we needed it because it didn't fix the first one completely. Then we started using the second one fully charged, getting in about halfway through our job. And this dude starts to give us intermittent power. So we're going along and forward and it would like slow down or stop and then it would kick back in and then it would slow down and stop and then kick back in. That to say the least was like the icing on the cake where it's like, come on, we have two of these. At some point they should continue to work. I mean, chances are we can't get two machines that have problems. We did. Frustrations were very high at that point and Thankfully, the chore warrior can actually be used as a normal wheelbarrow without having the power on. And the intermittent power issue wasn't gonna slow me down. I just had to use the tools that I had with me in order to move this dump trailer as close as I could to every piece of the puzzle to finish. So I didn't have to rely on the chore warrior, which was sad because it would have been nicer to be able to just put stuff in the wheelbarrow rather than having to drive this thing on the lawn or move it and get so close to items that I felt like I could cause damage to other things. But that was the situation we we're in because of this unit. If you're looking at this unit and you're going to pick one up because the price is half of the Makita, you have a good chance that it's going to probably work well and you have a good set of customer service that's behind you. Don't order it last minute and expect it to work because if you get one that doesn't work, it's gonna take three, four days for you to probably get some parts and pieces even though you're guaranteed to get them. So make sure you have time before that job comes up. Two, if you're really gonna use this thing long term, I hate to say this, but Makita at double the price might be the answer. The battery pack that's in the bottom of this is probably expensive. It reminds me of something that we'd see in the late 90s, not something we would see now. Um, it, it just seems a little bit of old technology. The fact that uh, the battery life is mediocre hauling mulch. So if you started to put some very heavy items in here, you're probably not gonna make it to lunchtime if you're using this the whole time. And then you're gonna have to charge that battery. Makita, you can pop your batteries out and replace them. So I think having a battery charger or extra batteries that could go in and out of this would be amazing. Having to charge this and you know, flip the thing up or bend over to get down there to plug the battery charger in is kind of a, uh, fault in my mind. I think that the battery should be up higher, especially if you're going to run this through a construction site where you might be going over bricks. And if you did that, the tires that are on here are probably not going to last through that. They're just not top end or high quality tires. This guy's made in China and unfortunately it shows. I really hate to bag on a product like this, but when you get two of them, and they both have their faults and you would have to probably swap parts between both and do a little bit of experimentation as to what's actually failing, uh, that just doesn't sit well with me. And if this was to get wet, the connections that you're putting together are definitely not anything that's going to last through that moisture. You're gonna have issues down the road and something's gonna fail. So a wheelbarrow to me is gonna be something you're gonna be able to get wet turn up and down, dump things up, throw around, and actually use, these are, put it this way, in order to make them so that you do not have them flop around, you have to physically tighten the bolts so far 
that you have to crunch and distort the frame. And that is coming directly as a suggestion from Chore Warrior. So you have to distort the frame in order to make this a rigid item. Because otherwise, you'd pick this up and you can kind of hear this one flopping around, although this one is tightened to that point. But you can see one side hits the ground, then the other, and it just is not tight. That one is tightened down and everything's distorted, but at the same point, that weakens everything that's put together long term. It's just not good. So I'm super interested in your comments on this. Please leave them below. I hate doing this, but I need to save someone from my experience. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.